subscribers welcome back to the channel so we out here this morning sunday morning water nice and flat and everything right so we are roll out the new camera today well filtered up and everything so we are going to jump into the water actually we are going to go to the spot we are going to jump into the water see if we can get some great footage from this and um, hopefully we catch a nice fish you know as usual me i look for the big one this morning again yeah man so Catch you in the water, all right? Yeah. Yes, no people, so them go I don't get so ready up a thing, you know. Jump in the water, me did have to run back up at the car to get something. Turks in the water and him bring two water bridging with him and thing. Yeah, so we jump in the water right now and see what go on from this, all right? Yeah. All right guys, welcome to the water right now. What I did right here was to record a couple of clips without the filter on the camera and um, compare the filtered ones and the non-filtered ones at the end of the dive, all right? So this is my first dive. Now my dives today are mainly focused on learning about the camera and also I'm doing a couple deep drops alright, see if I can push myself a little bit more. Now on this dive, I decided on just taking a random drop to this location, didn't see a fish or anything. Right here I heard the sound of an engine. Um, so the importance of diving with a marker above the water also um, helps the boat persons to also see you but it's very important that you listen when you're down there and notice how I'm going up with my spear gun upwards yeah man so actually that will go above the water before me so if anything um, it will touch the spear gun first No, these two fishermen are two of my friends. They are here to retrieve their fish traps. See what they catch. Alright, now, so this is my first clip with the filter on. If you notice the temperature of the water change it's a little bit more blue and um, notice the color changes when I get closer down to the reef Thank you. 
so right here if you noticed um, the closer you get to the reef the more color you get while using the filter Now coming up from that um, dive a while ago, on my way up I saw a nice little snapper, like about a half pound size snapper. So I took a breath up and um, went down nice and slow. Notice how calm the movements are going down because I didn't want to spook the fish. I went down and I lined it up properly. Watch this. So what happened right there, I missed that fish. How I missed that fish, my shooting line got tied up and it, it actually pulled the spear back and it went downwards. So that's how I missed that fish. So let's look at that again. Let's look at that one more time. Now right here I decided on taking my first deep drop. Again, the slowness and the calmness of how you descend have a lot to do with how deep you go. You don't want to get too anxious and all of that. If you notice, I'm just cruising, heading down there and looking around and all of that. Nice and easy. Yeah, man. And I have seen some improvement comparing this dive to my last dive so I decided on trying a couple more of the deep dives once more just cruising around you know, trying to be as relaxed and comfortable as possible That's Balti right there. And here I decided on taking another deep drop. As I was going down, scanning the area, I looked across and I saw a shadow passing by. So I decided on um, looking over to the other side of the rock that I saw the shadow passing by and I actually saw a barracuda. 
no look what happened I just allowed that barracuda to swim away up to now I don't know why I didn't take the shot I could have taken the shot right there and I also could have taken a body shot right there but I didn't take that shot and I don't know why but as it is it is just another day of fishing that barracuda live to tell the tales and I will be hunting for that one again Right here I did another deep drop and I was very impressed by how deep I went down there and um, how comfortable I was while doing this. Now if you notice right here my track card is actually finished. Um, my track card is about 75 feet and I actually finished that. So a lot of improvement guys. And a lot of you may know this guy out of the water. That is Turks right there. Yeah, he's a diver as well. Not only the guy who roasts the fish them, he's also a diver. So guys, that's it for the underwater part of the camera test today. So now we're gonna head out of the water to check what it looks like on land, all right? All right now, peeps, so come out of the water, you know, and think nothing not really go on, find two little fish. Um, so I'll make up one little fire right now and roast them, you see me? Yeah, man. So, Balti, I'll go and clean up the fish, them, you know? Yeah. Find one, one little lion fish. Shoot one little squid. One turk over here, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't know a Sunday to the name, you know, man. So, I feel link up and go out with something. You don't know we are going to work in the evening, so that's why we don't really do the river cooking today. So, after we left here, so now we just all get ready and go up and work, you see me? Yeah, so, you know, we are catching up on another day with the river block, you know? I go on here now. Turf find too small one. Can't make dinner see you here. Don't know where you go. Nice lion fish there. Moonshine snapper and jack. So a shadow over here, so yeah. Nice little butter. Yeah, man. Yeah, go on. So, right here now, we just go. I go and make up the fire in the meantime. Drop them on it, roast them, and then after that, they don't know where we are going to head home, alright? So, stay tuned. Yeah, now, people, so, we we'll get them up on the fire right there now. They go and roast up. A lot of wind out here today and thing. So, I don't know if the audio is good, but get them on the fire right now. All right now people so see what I go on you know We have the fish them I go on Roast on the fire and thing Yeah so When I go give them a turn then we get back to you and make you see what I go on alright Yeah man All right now people, so we ended up give them a turn, size speed right there, so, yeah, the lion fish there, 
Parrotfish, they see moonshine snapper them. Yeah, so they end up giving them a turn a while ago, so let them go and steam out a little more and then get back when we are going to give them another turn and then let them off, alright? Yeah, man. Alright, now, so don't know, we upgrade it. The grill, you know. Turks come put on two fish pan it there. Go and roast here where no space never there so we just catch up two stick pan it. See that they're ready you know. So ready to they want us more ready. Soon breakfast time. So by us are roast up feed them you know. Yeah. Turks one end up on the grill and go and take time bubble dog, you know? My breakfast this. Yeah beats. Nah, I tell no lie. Fish are well, well nice, you know? Moonshine snapper, this is squid. Any of you know, say I saw the nice, me kill two more of them and thing. So, I don't know, we don't want to up on the beach. I'm going to left you now and go home after this, up on the work and thing. Always remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next epic adventure, alright? You don't know that one that I go mad. We are pre to go up on the river for the next one. Yeah, because we don't get to go up on the river in a while now, so. As soon as we get the time again available, we are going to jump on the river. We still have half of the barracuda left from last week. So we'll probably just cook up that on the river, yeah? So stay tuned for that, peeps. Yeah, man. Yes. See, moonshine snapper, you know. Look at that. Well, nice. You can peel off the skin and bite them. Yeah man, you can see this is well nice and roast. Yeah. No seasoning people straight out of the sea. Pan the fire and it still tastes good. 